Hey everybody, Johan Magnussen here, Big Sweet Barbecue, and today we're grilling up some lemon thyme chicken breast with a very refreshing feta salad on the Memphis wood fire grill. So the first thing that we need to do is make the lemon thyme marinade that the chicken breast will marinate in overnight. So we will start with chopping the thyme thoroughly. Then we want to place the thyme together with the lemon vinaigrette, the Dijon mustard, some olive oil, garlic, and some salt and pepper to taste in a mixing bowl and whisk thoroughly. So when the marinade is done, it's time to start trimming the chicken breast. So the way that I like to trim the chicken breast when I grill it is just to take off some of the extra fat, then flip it over. And then you see the chicken breast almost have a heart shape. And what I like to do is separate the bigger muscle from the smaller one. And then I use the smaller muscle for stews and things like that. And then you have a good sized, beautiful chicken breast like that, that will grill very evenly. When they're trimmed, you put the chicken breast in the marinade and you let that marinate for 24 hours in the refrigerator. And you want to make sure that you turn it around a couple of times so all the parts of the chicken breast really soak in that beautiful marinade. So it is now time to make the feta salad. And the first thing that you want to do is half a lemon and squeeze the lemon juice into a mixing bowl. Then you want to whisk the lemon juice together with the olive oil, the mustard, the agave nectar and some chopped dill until thoroughly mixed. Next, it's time to peel the Persian cucumbers, to cube them and then mix them with some chopped tomatoes and the feta cheese together with the vinaigrettes. You want to toss this gently, season it with a little bit of salt and pepper and then refrigerate for at least an hour before serving. So I just brought out the chicken breast from the fridge and these have been marinating now for 24 hours and they, they smell and they look amazing from the lemon thyme marinade. So what we want to do now is we want to set up our Memphis wood fire grill to 500 degrees grill mode and we want to use some sort of uh, fruit wood pellets. So the Memphis wood fire grill is now sitting at 500 degrees and it's time to grill the chicken breast. The way that I like to cook these is to an inner temperature of 165 degrees and I like to flip the breasts quite frequently. By doing that, it will cook more evenly. And I would guess breasts this size will take between 10 to 15 minutes to get up to internal temperature 165. So while we're waiting for the chicken to be ready, it's time to slice the lemon. And you really just want to slice it into thin slices we're going to put these on the grill, give them a couple of minutes on each side just to give them some good sear marks. And then we're going to serve this together with the chicken and the feta salad. The chicken breast now has an inner temperature of 165 degrees. So it's time to take them out of the Memphis wood fire grill, let them rest for a couple of minutes, and then we're going to slice them up and start plating. And that is how you make a grilled lemon thyme chicken breast with a wonderful feta salad on the Memphis wood fire grill. If you like this recipe, please subscribe to Memphis Grill's YouTube channel or check out their website www.memphisgrills.com for more recipes like this. And I think the only thing left for me is to try, make sure that I get both the salad and the chicken on it. And, oh man. A lot of, of, of charred flavor from the chicken. You can really taste the lemon and the thyme, and it just balanced perfectly with the lightness of the cucumbers, the tomatoes, and the feta cheese. This is a really refreshing dish. I hope you try it at home. Happy grilling. Man, this is good.